Has it been that long that you forgot where I am when you walk out? No, no, no. You know, when I came in today, they already had the wine out. Uh, yeah. And I they had a couple drinks, just a few. Because I know I, uh, that you get nervous on talk I am shows. Nervous. Oh my God. All right, let's bring some more out for her. I want to know. Yeah. More. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did you get enough sense? No. No. Oh. Well, you're attractive. Uh, that's Andy. Andy. All right. Okay, what? Because it's you, you, you yeah. kind of started something. You drink I red know. wine on ice. I do. And you started something, and, and bartenders yeah. are calling it the Keaton. No way. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, yeah, because there's like, you know, there's Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even been drinking. But you have the Keaton, yeah. and so we thought we oh, no. should have your own glasses. <gasps> oh, my God. And so we have glasses no. made for you called, <laughs> and with the Keaton on it. And... <laughs> Let's, oh, let's make perfect. sure. Oh, these. Oh, Ellen. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look here. Here's, what, here's how you do it, babe. How do you do it? You oh, just grab okay, that ice well, in your hand. Good. You do that. And you just throw it in here. And the more, the better. Right, here's that's what thing. I thought. And here's the deal. It's you your pour hand, it in so... there, yep. right? Yep. After you did a good job, no more, because we don't want Diane to be weird. Uh, okay. Well, you've, you already, you've already called yourself Diane, so now <laughs> it's, it's already weird. <laughs> We don't I, want Diane to be weird. Weird, we just don't. Yeah. But uh, can I have one right now? Well, you can have one. Is there any? Down it. Go okay, ahead. Okay, I'm going to go. Down it? Yeah. Ooh, chug That's it. That's a lot. <laughs> I feel better. Yeah, do you feel relaxed? I feel good. And, and you know, Ellen, I want to say something to oh, you. Oh, please do. I think you're beautiful. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, I do. I mentioned you in my book, you know. I know. I saw oh, that let's you. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. Uh, I but know. But you know what? <laughs> you are beautiful. Thank you. Well, and I love the way you dress because, for example, look what you have on. You see, that's what I want to wear. But well, you're kind of I, wearing it. Well, I. Oh, that's true too. You know, yeah. but I, I overlook that, and it's not a problem. <laughs> I overlook that. <laughs> no, I love the way you, you probably have influenced me greatly. I, I think you have such great style. And, it, and I love in your book, you talk about people that aren't conforming and people that dress in their own style and how important that is. Yeah. You've always done that. Yes, that's true. You know, I, it, it, as early as like age 15, I already knew that I was living in black and white. I love black and white, and I was in love with Cary Grant. And in fact, I named my daughter a C.K. Dexter Haven after Cary Grant in the Philadelphia story. And I just love the Philadelphia story. He was, I don't know if you guys are at all familiar with Cary Grant, but he was gorgeous. And he had those horn rim glasses, and he was just the epitome of style. And he says, he was the one who said, clothes make the man. He was the first one. Oh, really? Yeah. And he also said that he, he always want, he pretended that he was somebody that he wanted to be, and finally he became that person. Which I just love the concept of that, because that means we're the owner of our lives, that we can do anything we want if we really put it to ourselves. Don't you think? Oh, for I mean, sure. we can dream at least. Yes. I like that idea. You have a beautiful audience today, too. No, they are beautiful. <laughs> they, they are. Do you mind if I have another? Please do, sip? please. Is now, this, I'm getting used to this now. Now, will you be doing yeah. this? I'm so excited. You know, we're finally, after 10 years, ma they're making a sequel to Finding Nemo, and it's Finding Dory, which is um, my favorite. Um, so excited. Yeah. And <laughs> Diane is playing my mother in I the am. film. And <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And the thing is, we both have the same problem. We can't remember. That's right. Yeah. And I really do. Uh, yes. In the yeah. film, for in the film, but I also in real life, I have that. Do you have that? The problem of the memory. That's what I just asked you. Do you, <laughs> do you remember me asking you, you that? I just said it a second ago. You said ago. the thing of what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the problem, yeah. Yeah, of remembering. Of the memory. Yes. Well, yeah. That's just it. The, and then what did you say? <laughs> there was nothing. I was, there was waiting. Nothing. Was waiting for an answer. It was just that question. No, yeah, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you started working yet? Have you started working recording? at what? What's that? Uh, that <laughs> on the film. Yeah, I did. Yep. And that was really so amazing 
because it's so loose and you just kind of discover the process in the process. Yes. And then I said, that, I asked them if, was there a chance that I'd be working with you? Will we be working together as the people who don't have the memory? Yes, I hope so, because we're, I'm, I'm actually- You're a fish though, right? Yes, and you're a fish. The whole I play the fish too. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the first one? <laughs> What's it called? Yeah. <laughs>